Hello, my name is Todd Hansen. We're here at the Art of Fire Contemporary Glass Blowing Studio in Laytonsville, Maryland, www.artoffire.com. I've been a glass blower for about 12 years now. I've got several different lines of glass work that I work on, and I'll be talking to you about glass blowing. Marvering glass is a technique that we use to cool and shape the parazon, the parazon being the part of glass that we're working with. Um, it's a technique where you use a steel plate and you roll the glass across it multiple times at different angles to help shape that parazon and cool the glass uh, where you want to change that shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking the glass and I'm going to start with my hands low and roll across the marver. And what that'll do is push the glass off the iron, help to cool and shape the neck just a little bit. Don't want the neck to get too cold, so what I'll do then is roll the glass with my hands parallel to the floor with the pipe level. That'll help to cool and stretch the sides a little bit. And finally, what I'll do is raise my hands high above the table and roll the glass at about a 45 degree angle. And what that will do now for me is now I'm cooling the tip of the glass. I want to keep uh, the glass uh, a little bit thicker, a little bit cooler in the bottom because that will help to make the base of the piece. I need to keep it thick enough so it'll support the work. It'll also transfer the heat back and forth with the punny. So a thick bottom on the glass helps to assure uh, construction of the piece. Once the piece is uh, marbed a little bit, I'll take it, I'll blow and cap, I'll trap some air inside the pipe, that'll inflate the bubble, inflate it in a controlled fashion, and I'll be able to put that bubble where I want it. Mm -hmm.